lovelies, um, today I'm just going to really show you how to do a quite simple cut crease. Um, what I like to do is kind of start off with one of these eye pencils. It's the NYX one in milk, just as a base all over. I've already done this eye, so you can just watch me get on and do this one. Putting a base on really kind of helps the colour to come true and last a little bit longer really. I'll just whack that on all over the lid. It doesn't have to be perfect, thankfully, because it's just going under your eyeshadow. There we go, so that's all over. What I'm going to do is use Taco, which is this white one, from the Sugar Pill palette. It's a absolutely amazing white. It's matte and it's got quite a lot of coverage for it so you don't really need a massive amount. I'm going to use my 252 MAC brush. You really need something that's got quite stiff brush, like bristles on it just because you're going to pat the colour on and that's going to give you a lot more of an intense effect than it would do if you were using a fluffier brush which you would tend to just use for blending really. Don't worry if you get any fallout around the underneath of the eye because you can just clear that up afterwards. Okay, so I've got a pretty good white base there. Now to cut the crease, it, all that basically means is just kind of taking a pencil and going round into the kind of crease that you've got there just to give a very definite cross between the upper bit and the lid itself really. And just take your pencil again, this doesn't have to be massively neat just because you're going to blend out anywhere. So this is Undercurrent by MAC. It's like a Pearl Glide one so it's quite a soft pencil and soft pencils are always the best ones to use if you're going to be trying to smudge them. And then what you want to do is get what we call a pencil brush, which is, this one's a MAC 219 brush. And it's quite a stiff brush with the hairs on it, but you can really work it in to smudge that out. So you can see as I'm working it's starting to, to smudge. You can take this up as high or as low as you want to. It's personal preference as to how far people want to go with this colour really. Some people like to take it right up to the brow, some people only like it to be a little bit above the crease. I kind of quite like to go halfway really. There we go. And then if you think there's a little bit too much colour on there, you can just pat it out with your finger. Then go back in, blend again. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is get my 226 brush from MAC again. And I'm going to take Midori, which is this one from the Sugar Pill palette again. And I'm just going to put that on over the top of this blue. I actually want it to be green and this is kind of like a bluey green really it's like a teal colour but it's got a nice bit of sparkle that I want to show through and you're just going to work it in some people like to do backwards and forwards movements some people like to do little circular mo like movements the trick to blending is just to keep blending you can never really over blend um, unless your colours start to get a little bit muddy and then what you're doing is blending them into each other a little bit too much. So you kind of want the edges to pretty much disappear. Nice. 
done. Now what I've done is I've gone, you want to kind of check with the other eye that you've done. You can see that this one is a little bit lower down there than this one is. So what you can either do is bring this one up a little bit higher. And then get a little bit of the take all, which was the white, back onto your brush and then bring this one down a little bit. And just kind of really get that shape that you want. And take your other brush and just blend them back together. Okay. Now I want to define this lid bit a little bit more, so I'm going to take a bit more white and just clean it up there. So that there's a really good definition between the two. Then I'm going to take a little fluffy brush. This one's one that I actually got from Hacker Hodor at um, IMAX when I went there and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a really soft, really little brush that I quite like. And I'm going to go in with Dolly Pop, which is this pink one up here. They are quite powdery, these eyeshadows, so if you need to, just tap it off on the back of your hand. You can see the back of my hand generally looks like that when I'm at work, to be honest. It's quite a good palette and it always washes off. I'm just going to work that into the corner there. And obviously you can mix this with whatever kind of colours you want to. Um, have a think about kind of the colour wheel, that sort of thing. And I'll probably do a tutorial on that later on. But if you've got kind of blue eyes, then oranges and blues look really good. Green eyes, then greens and purples. Brown eyes can pretty much get away with anything, just depending on kind of your skin tone really. But purples look really good, blues look really good. A copper or a brown on blue eyes can look really nice as well you want something that's got that little orange base into it. I'm going to take my 226 again and just blend them colours in. A lot of the time when you're doing makeup it won't really make a lot of sense until you put your mascara on because the look can look a little bit random and then once you've put a bit of mascara on it actually brings the look together again. I've done that quite a lot of times. Now I'm going to actually put on some eyeliner. I will do a tutorial on eyeliner all on its own because it can be a bit of an art depending on what sort of shape that you're going in for and what sort of brushes you like to use. I quite like to use the slightly thinner ones. This one's from Smashbox and it's an angled liner. I just prefer to use them really. I'm going to get my little mirror. And I don't want a really thick line here, so I'm just going to bring it across a little bit. As close to the lash line as I can. And again, I'll use the back of my hand as a palette. And I'm just going to wing it up slightly. Make sure it matches with the other side. If it doesn't, just use cotton wool buds. Let the makeup remove as long as it's not an oily one, because then you'll find it a bit of a nightmare trying to put it back on again. And you want to drag it out a little bit and kind of lift your hand up as you do it. Otherwise, you'll just get a really thick line. You want it to get thinner. So you just kind of lift it up as you go. But I only want a really thin line. But yeah, I'll come back and show you how we do a proper cat eyeliner, that sort of thing another time. Then a bit of mascara. They always use eyelash curlers. They're not as frightening as they look. They look a bit like a torture device. But they do really open up the lashes. And your mascara will set that curl, so it's always well worth doing. And I'm using Yves Saint Laurent. 
volume effect for Sills. I really like this mascara, it's lovely. Make sure you work it right into the bottom of your lashes. Give it a good wiggle. So it's right in the root. You can give it a couple of quarts, but if you've got a really good mascara, you shouldn't be needing to put five or six quarts of it on. If you are, then you need a new mascara. Now I haven't done it here, but sometimes if your lashes are long or you can just slip and get a little bit here, wait till it's dry. I don't do it so I can show you. So then, wait till it's dry and take a clean kind of mascara wand and literally just flake it off so then you don't disturb any of your makeup that you've already done. It'll just flake off. I'm not going to put any bottom liner on with this one because I think the look's quite strong on its own. I'm actually just going to use quite a light pink blush because it's a fairly strong eye. So I'm going to use Dame by MAC. This is in the middle of being depotted, which is why it's like that. I'll do a tutorial on how to depot things, but I've got tons to do. And just take your brush. There's loads of different ways you can put blusher on really, but I'm just going to go for the apples of the cheeks really. And this is a little kabuki brush from NARS. I only want a tiny bit of colour. I'm also going to go in with just a little MAC skin finish, just to give it a bit of glow on the cheeks. So you can see there, it's got a bit of a sheen to capture the light. I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm using Illamasqua Vehement Eye Cake. It's like a it's like a eyebrow powder. You can wet it if you want really intense eyebrows or just use it as a powder. I'm going to use my 263 brush from MAC which is an angled one. And I'm going to do them in the natural shape that they're in, so I'm just going to give them a little bit more drama, really. And carry them down a little bit. I quite like mine to start with quite an obvious point. So if you turn your brush on its side, you can actually just use that to get the start of your brow. And then the arch upwards. Turn your brush and just bring it down. And then there you go. And on the lips I'm just going to use a really natural pink because I don't want it all to be about loads of makeup on the face, I just want it to be all about the eyes. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any comments then just leave them for me in the box and speak to you soon. Bye!